I cyanide here. Um, today I should be getting a, a light buckets done and attached to either side of the uh, radiator shell. The um, what I'm going to use is these little cylinders here. These are little gas cylinders. These ones are cream chargers. You can also, uh, I think, this, the same cylinders are used for CO2 for um, guns and that, air guns perhaps. Uh, these ones had nitrous in them, nitrous oxide for whipping cream, funnily enough. I've used these a few times on different videos. I've used them as uh, air tanks on Fat Betty. Uh, I've used them as NOS tanks on a trail truck. Uh, what else have I used them on? I have used them as the light buckets on Fat Betty as well. What I'll do is I'll um, I'll cut the end off here and uh, just attach the open end sort of thing on the side here. I was going to attach these with uh, M3s, but I was thinking this morning I might use this, which is a bike spoke. Yeah. Drill a hole in here, thread it through, and um, plug weld it from the other side. I've welded this is really small stuff, man, but I have welded it before. I've used it for the handles um, on the side of the fat beauty truck, and, there. and you can you can weld this. You just got to leave yourself a lot of meat because it disappears real fast. So you always make it longer than you need, and you just get in there real quick um, with the welder. It's the same. Um, principle I used when I was doing these uh, uprights on the uh, the brackets for the tops of these um, shocks. I left a lot of meat on those at the bottom and um, didn't cut that off until after I'd welded it on and the reason I do that is to help take the heat because if I cut those exactly to fit I would have just blown them out. I mean those of you who are watching carefully when I was welding these at least once the, the, whole, the thing got really cherry red and I was about, it was about to go on me so um, if you can get away with it when you're doing the little stuff don't necessarily cut the metal exactly as you need it if you think you're welding it because um, it'll disappear on you it's, the heat's got nowhere else to go anyway these cylinders I dig them man I use them quite a bit in my models and um, another thing I want to do is get a couple of these uh, and cut them about here and go end to end so it'll look like a, a little tank for a gasser which I do plan on building, I want to build a gasser at some stage because I think they, they look pretty cool and I've got spare wheels now and I think skinny wheels like this with these slicks on the back they just scream gasser as well so I've got some spare so that's what I'm going to use them for but um, I don't want to distract myself from this project so I'm um, I haven't brought parts for it or anything like that, so except for the ones I've got surplus. But uh, maybe I'll start that next year after I've finished this one and the other rat rod I'm working on. We'll, we'll see. But today, well, what I'll do now, actually, is I'll go and drill the hole first. Because one thing I've learned from watching the old boys doing their engineering videos on YouTube is... Um, don't cut your part until you need to because if I cut this real small I'll end up with some little thing like this and um, a lot harder to hold in the vise and that sort of stuff so while it's a full uh, cylinder I'll stick it in the vise and drill a wee hole here and then I can cut it off. I don't need to drill the hole in the back for the LED because that's easy to drill from the inside. Uh, which is what I did with uh, Fat Betty, drilled a hole to put the LEDs in. And these these things actually have the same um, diameter as the plastic ones, so I can put a lens from a um, plastic um, light. So I think that's what we'll do next. I've taken the radiator, uh, not the radiator, the, um, the cow here, Throwing that back out in the garden to to um, rust up the firewall a bit more, let it patina. And um, once I got the the light buckets on this, I'll take that off and turf it out in the garden as well. And get that patina up. So yep, let's get out there, drill some holes, 
cut these. Um, what I'll do then is probably drill little holes in the side of the uh, radiator shell here and poke this through it. But what I'm thinking is I might actually cut a wee piece of another piece of sheet metal and put it on the inside of this to help to help take it because this this thin tin just bloody disappears so quick. So I think I'll uh, put some backing tin on there and. Mm, not sure yet. Either that or I'm just going to JB weld these all together and um, not not weld them. So we'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's get out there and make some sparks. Later in the week now, um, I started working on the light buckets uh, last weekend. Got a call from a mate in the afternoon, so I shot around there to hang out, talk shit at his workshop. Because, you know, you got to do stuff like that, don't you? Um, so, I did get these done. Let's see if I can get these in the camera so you can see them. So there's one of them. There's the other one. So the... Um, See if I can get out there. So they they plug well. They they go for a hole. If that focus, come on, buddy. And um, and so they plug well on the inside there. Hard to see in this light, I guess. Um. What I did actually was I did one and then I did another one and I put the the wire in the same direction. So I ended up with two that were facing the same way, which was no bloody good because. I had two for the same side of the, um, the radiator shell, so I did a third one uh, with the wire around the correct direction. So now I've got two that go in opposite directions. So the next thing I'm going to do before I start the mounting stuff, before I forget, is I'm going to drill the hole in the bu back the buckets here to mount now uh, white LEDs from the remnants of an LED kit I've got. Got some LEDs and some plastic lens covers in there. Uh, extra speed lighting kit for bucket on a bar thing for four by fours. It was cheap. So um, yeah, I'll drill these out, put a hole in it, make sure it, uh, it can take the LED. Then I'll uh, probably. Even make a backing plate to go in the back behind this real light tin, so there's a bit more meat to take. Take the um, the weld here. I'll cut these shorter, but still too long. And so when I tack them, it usually this stuff usually just disappears on your and it. You don't have to cut it; it just burns out. So, but it will leave enough meat. Uh, so I'll probably do that. Put a strip of normal sheet metal on the inside and plug weld it in. Tack those on. And we'll be done. I'm not going to mount the LEDs and do the wiring at this stage of the build. That, that can come later. So, um, yeah. Let's get out to the workshop. <laughs>
go. The um, little metal light buckets are welded on. And I've just put this uh, radiator shell back on there to check it. Eyeball it, make sure it's okay with these um, shock mounts. I'm actually surprised I pulled it off, to be honest. It was pretty touch and go, but you might be able to just see the, the weld back there where I plugged the tiny little um, uh, yeah, you probably don't see that one there. That one's that one welded off and um, welded and kind of uh, blew out the uh, bite spoke at the same time, so I didn't have to cut that one off. That's usually what happens, but um, yeah, they're on there, they're staying put. So, um, yeah, that's turned out pretty good. That'll, that'll do the business. The holes in the back are just the right size for a, I think it's a 5mm LED. And, um, yeah, I managed to make them out of steel, so that's cool. And they're real dainty with those little spokes as the uh, mounts, so that's cool. Next thing I'll do is I'll um, spray the inside of these with a bit of silver spray paint. And then I'll turf this out the garden to patina up, take it off the chassis. Um, so yeah, that's good. It's that, and that should be the end of the radiator shower work. Um, once this is finished, I can put the uh, speaker back in, put the LEDs in, that sort of jazz. So yeah, next video I should be going back to mounting the uh, foal and the cow back here, and we'll look at mounting some doors. So that'll be the next video. So yeah guys, I, I think it's turned out alright. So um, cheers for watching and I hope you're enjoying the build series and learning some stuff if you're into doing this sort of thing yourself. Um, what I was doing, I will say, was I was using bits of copper underneath this tin to help dissipate the heat. I don't know if I'd do another radiator shell using this tin, it's very thin and kind of a pain to work with. But um, yeah. Charity Build, Cancer Society, check the uh, links in the description. And, um, you know, if you're liking the look of this, you could be the proud owner. So, yep. All right, guys, catch us on the next one.